What's up guys, so today I'm going to show you guys Grand Theft Auto 3, which was released in 2001 by Rockstar Games. It was released on the PlayStation 2 and PC. So let's get this started and sift through all my pages so we can get into the game. And yes, I now have a bit of a sick and sadistic um, type of wallpaper, but I really like it. And you can see at the bottom, you can have Grand Theft Auto 3. And for this is the Australian version. Um, I'm not sure really if there's a difference between any other country's version of Grand Theft Auto, but um, considering that Australia has a really crappy government that destroys great gaming from violence, um, hopefully, you know, it's a great game still. So we're going to click on Grand Theft Auto right here. And we've already got a game already started. And I'll show you guys the menu. Just so you can see the lookout. It's the 10th ten, ten, year anniversary for Grand Theft Auto. It's got a nice layout right here. It's got a vintage sepia tone um, background as you can see. Pretty much has all the menus from the actual release. We've got controls, audio, display, different language if you want, and main menu if you want to go there. So we'll go to the main menu. And there's stats, where you can see the list of things you've done, you know, your criminal rating. At the moment I've got FUG38, and that's only because I have only just started a few minutes ago. Pretty much woke up and downloaded this. And as you can see, it's a nice layout. For the format, you've got two arrows left and right for driving. You've got a brake pedal, accelerator, handbrake, and you've got buttons to change your cinematics, which is changing the mood, I mean, not mood, mode of the camera angle. So you just press it, and it goes into different views. So if you want to play back in like the usual GTA 1 and 2 style, you can go from bird's eye view like this and drive around. But that's that's not how I play this game. I love the whole free roaming in the third person view. So we'll go back to that. And we're going to drive a bit. You know, it's a bit hard. I remember in 2001 when this game came out, it was like the biggest game because it was so different and you could just like roam anywhere you wanted so it's pretty much like the first release of the game same graphics and that's that's what I'm happy about and what I forgot the one of the main attractions for this game is the radios so right here in the left hand corner you can choose your radio station you just have to swipe it and from what I know, they have all the original um, radio stations for you guys to enjoy. So you've got head radio station, double clef, FM, jar radio, rise FM for those guys who guys and girls who like you know faggy chat music. Lips 106. Game FM for all those guys and girls who like hip hop and rap music, you know, hippity hop stuff. MSX. Flashback 95.6 is one of my favorite stations from this game. And here we go, my favorite station, Chatterbox 109. So we're going to leave it at that, and we're going to play a bit, show you guys how it's done. At the moment, I have a few weapons that I've picked up from the missions. It's pretty much got the same layout, as I said before, and we're going to do one mission, so you guys can see how it is. Oh, I'll cut right here. And and to be honest, it, it it's quite great. 
The difference between walking around and the driving mode is that for walking around you've got an analog stick which can move freely and driving you've got one left left and right buttons and sometimes it's a bit clunky when you have it just like in the corner. You can actually make the buttons bigger if you want, but you know, it's fine for me at the moment. Okay, so we're going to do mission. You can see very vintage background from the first game. And now we have to pick up some halls and take him to a police ball. And we've got a timer of 4 minutes, 52 seconds. So we're going to go around and there's a map on the left hand corner. And all the halls are marked in green. And even in a game I, can, I can't even drive. So we pick up these girls. So pretty much the aim for this mission is you just have to pick up as many girls as you can to send to the ball. This game is filled with like crooked, crooked cops. I just wanted to make your viewers aware that okay, now this is a radio show. We don't have viewers. We have listeners. Uh, okay. Anyway, Laswell, I just wanted to make your viewers aware the first international puppetry festival is next month at the fairgrounds, bro. If you're interested in becoming a puppet master or a ventriloquist, you should definitely come down, dude. It's gonna be totally killer. I wasn't aware that there was much demand for puppet shows these days. Oh man, have you been living under a rock, bro? Guys with puppets get chicks. I take my monkey puppet to the park all the time. We play hacky sack together, it's rad. But anyway, dude, at the International Puppetry Festival, we'll be having workshops on figure puppets, too. I want Petunia the Pinky, me Barry the Thumb. String puppets, collect puppets, dude, it's gonna rock. Okay, thanks. Hope to see you there, Laswell. Hey, by the way, can you give me that guy Fernando's number? Nah, I'm sorry. Fernando hasn't paid his bill to our ad sales department. Okay, so now that we've got the maximum of girls that can fit in this car, we're going to go to the pink marker. Pink marker, not pink marker. <laughs> um, and we're going to send up some girls, and we've got three minutes and nine seconds left. I really hope you guys are enjoying these iPad reviews. You know, I, I enjoyed talking to you guys about this game, these games right here. And I just want you guys to have fun watching them. And hopefully you guys will go out and buy them. So now we've dropped off three girls. We've got 2 minutes 36 seconds. We're going to go pick up some more girls. But the good thing about this mission is even if you just drop off one girl, you get mission pass, which is a good thing. So we're going to go to Chinatown, and we got a girl right here, pretty sexy. What do you turn? Oh, I'm terrible. And hopefully next week I'll be getting a better HD camera for you guys to see, you know, a better view of these games than myself. This guy is perverted. So we've got another girl right here. And now we've got to speed away because we've only got a minute or so. I guess what we're learning is that life can be a little unfair at times. 
I'm naked, Laszlo. I'm naked. I, you know, I really didn't need to know that. Why, Laszlo? Why? Is that you? I was born naked, I'm gonna die naked. I'm going to live naked. So there, there's nothing wrong with being naked. It's so invigorating to get in the hot leather of a chair. Or the okay, floor. screw it. We've got three. We've got a girl in here. We're just gonna drop her off and, you know, get our money. What I know is from this game, like from this release, you get a lot more money from just one mission. Twenty-eight seconds. Can we make it? I'm a taxi driver. All right. So sixteen seconds left, and we just got the girl. We've got. Oh, we've got two girls in there. So five seconds left, and we pretty much complete this mission. And that's a completed mission for Luigi, if I recall. Since we've done his last mission for now, we've got 2,500 in cash, and now we move on to Joey, who is the second category for jobs. We're not going to go there at the moment, we're just going to run around. One of the best things about this game is you can pretty much just run over anyone you want. Like you just walk over here and run. Bam! You know, if you have some vendetta against like calls, you can just like run them over. Just for funsies. And it all, you know, is fun and games because once you, you know, go back to the home screen, you're not going to be into this matter of trouble. So I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay and I will see you guys next time. Peace!